video on what's going on YouTube. Here's a quick video. How to use disk utility in macOS monitoring. Uh, so you turn on the computer. As soon as it turns on, you want to turn on the computer. As soon as you hear the chime sound, you want to press command option and R. So command option and R. Um, it's going to go, you're going to see a spinning globe and you're going to connect your Wi-Fi. After you've connected your Wi-Fi, you're going to get this little screen here. And it says restore from time machine, reinstall my course monitor, uh, Safari browse Apple support. And then you see right at the bottom, it says disk utility. So you want to navigate to disk utility and when you, you're going to click on disk utility. And then you're going to see the drives that are connected to your computer. Here we have a uh, Macintosh HD, which is uh, the internal drive. If, you, if I zoom in right there, you can see that it says internal drive. So this is the one that you like to erase, hopefully. So I'm going to click on that. And then on the right side here, uh, you see these are the options. Um, volume plus or minus this is to partition and then first aid partition erase and restore and then unmount okay so you want to click on erase okay so you're going to click on erase and then you're going to have the following options oh, let's see here what's going on so you have some options here sorry about that you can barely see what it says but the option the options are uh marketers the name uh, you can change the name and then the format um so the format uh for microsoft monterey should be aps format and then so if you don't see apfs format right away uh you can click on the drop down right here the you're going to see some drop down arrows so you see APS uh, encrypted, APF first case sensitive, uh, case, case sensitive encrypted as well. So uh, if you want it to be secure, if you want high security, then you're going to say APFS encrypted, that encrypts your drive. If you just want APFS, just select APFS and then you're going to hit erase. This process is pretty fast. So select erase and then it's going to say erasing touch Macintosh HD and creating Macintosh HD because I have not changed the name. But if I change the name, it was going to change it to something else and then just hit done. Okay, when, after you've done that, to reinstall macOS Monterey, you're going to get out of the screen. So click on the X right here, the red one. Click on X, uh, exit out of the screen and you're going to see this. It's going to take you back to the screen and you're going to say reinstall macOS monitoring and then you're going to say next at the bottom and it should start installing well that's how you use a uh, disk utility macOS monitoring uh, if you're going to be reinstalling the, the operating system and you just click continue all right so you will get this message that says um if you have erased the drive correctly, you should get a message that says an internet connection is required to reinstall to install macOS. So you're going to go to the top of the page and you're going to log on to your Wi-Fi or to your network if you're connected directly. So enter the password. Uh, just give me one second. I'll be right back. Okay, so after you've entered the password, you're going to hit continue. And then continue again and then continue and if you see the message that says the recovery server cannot be contacted it means that uh, your wi-fi may still be connect connecting so you're going to try again and continue so i think my wi-fi was still connecting that's why it, uh, it didn't go through the first time so a loading installation loading installation information okay and then you just hit continue you should get a choice of which disk to install to but i only have one disk uh, connected to this computer 
which is the internal SSD. I'll give it a few more seconds. And then um, agree. And then select the disk if you have more than one disk. And then continue. And it says two hours. It really doesn't take that long to reinstall the operating system. But um, I hope this has been beneficial to you. If it at all, if it holds, it has been beneficial. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Please like and share. Thank you. Ta-ta. Oh.